So, this episode is going to be again about some memes, and I think I'm also going to talk about some um, business ideas, actually, just because I had a look at two of the memes that I'm going to go through afterwards, because I just always want to check if there's something good or if it's just only bullshit, and I do not really want to go through bullshit. And I've seen, like, yeah, maybe there is something that you can do with it. Maybe there is an opportunity for a business idea. But yeah, there's going to be more after the intro, as always. As every day, because it is amazing because I enjoy it, because it is cool. And with that being said, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the self development with Tactics podcast. And uh, today we're actually going to skip the whole description thing. Please check out the description. It is going to be something that's really, really important. It is indeed very important. If you just need some information on who I am, what I'm doing, on other things that I'm doing, or just also really important things, please, 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 please check out the show notes and also the description. Uh, something that I do still want to point out is that if you are on the YouTube video, there is the podcast version of this exact video as well. And if you are on the podcast, there's also the video version of it. So if you just, and if you're willing to have the podcast, then please also go down into the description. But yeah, let's go through the memes. I hope there's actually some good ones. 33 of minor genius that deserve our respect. And it is like, well, it is like, I, I, I've been searching for some clever memes because I didn't really want to go through some dumb shit and shit that's, that's, that's not mattering at all and those things. But I still like, yeah, I feel, um, I don't know if they're going to be really clever or really smart or really whatever. I hope they are going to be. The, the first two things or the first two memes that I went through, they haven't really been that clever. But yeah, so the first one is good romance starts with a good friendship. And there's a comment that says a bad romance starts with ra 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 ra. Rama, Rama, Ma, Gaga, oh la la. Which is like Lady Gaga as far as I know. But I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But I, I yeah, I think it is the case. Um, actually, a <laughs> really interesting story. Um, today I've actually gone back my exam, my listening, reading and writing exam in English. And I've, I've done actually pretty well. And I'm really happy about that. It is actually also kind of surprising to me that I've been able to be so good. I really have been kind of really, really good. Um, I could have been better, of course, but, um, but yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm also taking this. I'm really happy with it. But the thing is, there has been an, an listening exercise, which has been an interview with Lady Gaga. And there has been like just one sentence and one word, a really important one. You know, it was, it was one answer to one question. Uh, and I think in the end it was stripes of balls or something, or balls of stripes, stripes of balls, stripes with balls, something like that. You know, I still don't know what it actually is, but it was pronounced so fucking bad that I didn't understand it, my neighbor didn't understand it, or my classmate didn't understand it. Then, like, so... I don't know, like, a bunch of people actually understood it, which is something that was kind of incredible to me, but it was just so a fucking bad uh, pronunciation. But still... I still wonder if it is kind of the real or if it is a real interview with Lady Gaga or if it is like just something they made up. But anyway, the second one. And I think it is actually a pretty good thing and I do not know if there's something that's that's working like that up to this point. Like what we can see is that there is a controller and there's some chips or some crisps actually. In German we say chips, but in English chips are the fries, kind of. And even though I've also heard like once the chips, um, that somebody said chips referring to these chips, and or crisps actually, but I don't know, like it's always kind of conf confusing and complicated sometimes at least. But yeah, um, I think that there isn't something like a cleaning tool for controllers. I don't know, like I haven't looked it up and I, I'm not also going to look it up. But I don't know if there's like a, a really good solution for that. Because of course, using fucking eating sticks to eat fucking crisps is I think not the most convenient thing. And not the most convenient way to eat your fucking crisps, of course. But, you know, actually having those greasy things and smudgy bullshit in your fucking control is also not that good. So what should you be doing? You know, I think that there's actually quite some room, you know, if we are just assuming that there isn't something that is just going around that problem or solving that problem. But I guess there is quite some room to, to solve the problem. So surprise me, you know, maybe I'm able to come up with something, maybe some grip, maybe some, I don't know, some gloves that you can use or whatever that might be. I think there is some space, you know, there is some possibilities, uh, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. And th this is a good one. It really is one. Like, for all the podcast listeners, I'm going to explain. So there's a kid, and the kid seems to be ill. It also looks quite ill, to be honest. And the kid is drinking out of a Coke can, 
But in reality, there is a, I don't know, it's like a small little bottle. It is a brown bottle. It seems to be a glass bottle. And I think it is medicine, which is in this little bottle. And this little bottle is attached to the Pepsi can. And so the child actually thinks that it is drinking out of the Pepsi can. Yeah, you know, and this might be also the reason why it actually drinks this medicine. You know, because I don't know, maybe the medicine is really bad or whatnot. But I think it is actually a pretty cool trick, even though like... You can clearly see that it is like not the case that this straw is inside of this Pepsi can. I know because it is actually drinking out of a straw that is in this little small bottle. And yeah, I think that's actually a pretty cool one. I really think it is. The fourth one. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming something. Llamas stay for free. I'm a friend with 25 letters of the alphabet and I don't know why. Which is like, I don't know what they're actually called, but it is a sign that you are... Um, well, well, you're having a bunch of, I guess they're actually magnetic, magnetic, just magnets, things, and they are letters, magnetic letters, and you're just able to put some, or I don't, no, they're not, they're not magnetic, I don't know how they're just working, I think there's some sort of a grit, grip, grit, and also grip, and I, yeah, as I said, I don't know how they're working, but it still just kind of confuses me that llamas stay for free, or llamas stay for free, but yeah, by the way, I do actually think that I, you know, which might be a little bit naive, but I still don't know. Like, it is still something that I need to think about, still something that I need to kind of progress in thinking about. But if I'm thinking about, like, having a restaurant and having a club, and, like, especially those two things, if it is about a coffee shop, in terms of, like, um, I don't know, a cafe, where you can also eat something in terms of cake and all those things, like, I really believe that it is not that of a difficult thing to have a successful restaurant and or club and or coffee shop. And I think it is the case just because the only things you need is good food if you are in a restaurant. And maybe, like it still depends on which type of restaurant you are because you can also be like, well, I'm gonna be a quote unquote luxurious one. You know, then of course you need to really have good food, but it doesn't really have to be cheap then. Maybe it is then about having a good place to be at. You know, which is something that I do also not really think that it is necessary. You know, if you're just thinking about a regular restaurant, you're going to have some tables, a few seats, and then that's quite it. Of course, it is expensive if, if you're just um, just trying to have a really big one. But if it's like just a room with, uh, I don't know, four tables or something, then of course it could be quite expensive to then get that back. Or you just are quite cheap and really have good, good, good food. So there, there's a lot of people that are going to come to your restaurant. So I don't really believe that it is such an such a difficult thing. Maybe this is going to definitely be revolutionized by AI and robotics and robotics that are working in those restaurants, which could be the case, which is actually at this point in time the case. I think in Japan there is like a, one restaurant with a roboter or, uh, yeah, what is it called? It's not a cyborg. AI. It is basically, well, it is some so, some form of AI, I would say. But I think it's not that of a of an difficult thing. At least I think it is the case. And of course, there's a lot of things that I'm not seeing. Of course, there's a lot of things that I am not thinking about. Maybe the people that you have to employ, which are not going to be there. You know, of course, you need a good cook. But uh, yeah, get a good cook. You know, search for a good cook. It's, it's not that of an easy thing especially if you think about it as an entrepreneur. But of course, if you are a good cook, then yeah, you could be doing this alone as well. You know, it's it's a lot of work, but you can just let you pay for this work. Well, that uh, could also be the case. No vacancy or vacancy. They can, I, I don't know. I'm not interrupting anything personal, am I? Yeah, Niles, we just eloped it. Eloped. I'm your new mom. <laughs> well, I'll be a son of... <laughs> Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, you know, something that I have to say is that you should be nice. And of course, this is a joke, but um, we never ever know if these people also know that it is a joke, which is something that they really, really, really should think about. Only because you know that something is the case, only because you know and you feel like that this was a joke, that this meant this, that this meant that, whatever it might be all about. Just because you know it doesn't really know that the other person or doesn't really mean that the other person also knows that. So please be careful and try to communicate as clearly as you possibly can, you know? Which is ba basically something that I that I didn't do just before because I thought about the straw that this kid was using to drink out of this little bottle, but I didn't say anything about the straw. So yeah, you know, 
It is like, if you're just listening to it, then you wouldn't have been able to understand what I'm meaning or referring to. Maybe you could have been thinking about something, which is definitely going to be the case, I assume at least, but in the end, like, destroy something that's quite important. Like, it is a form of transportation for the fluid. So there's a lot of ways that uh, you could be doing this, you know, with a straw, without a straw. It is important, you know, and it is also about clear communication and just uh, maybe even communicating the right way. So, quote-unquote, right way. But I think... Communication, being able to communicate in a very clear way, in a very clean way, and also in a very, well, I don't want to say good, because good is like, yeah, it is good, but what is good? Like, it is like a little bit of a strange thing. Still, I think being able to communicate in a great way is, I think, a really good thing to do, because we are always communicating. We are always having something to do with other people, whether it is about clients, whether it is about audience, whether it is about uh, employer, employee. All those things, like we are always communicating with people. It is like insane. Free beer is our Wi-Fi password. <laughs> it is a good one. It's it's really attention grabbing. Where there is like a huge fund, a huge fund, a huge uh, piece of lettuce. Well, not not really, but there's free beer, which is like in I don't know really big size, and there is kind of small. Is our Wi-Fi password. I think it is a good one, even though the problem that I'm seeing there is that, um, of course, you could also be like selling, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're basically selling something or kind of selling something. Let's let's actually think about a product. I'm not going to name any product because you're probably having something in mind, but if you're selling something and you're just advertising it as being something and you're in the end not getting it as it being this particular thing that you thought it would be, then it is a little bit of a strange thing and you don't really like it and it is like also not that good for your reputation the reputation of your restaurant or cafe or product as well because they assumed something and they didn't get it and if it is really that confusing that a lot of people are buying it and then are like well i didn't actually want to have that but i wanted to have just this thing that they as well quote unquote advertised it's not good it's not good for your <laughs> for your reputation it's not gonna be a good thing to do and this is a donut, and the donut is on the straw, and... Or is it like a burger? Because I don't know, it, it actually looks kind of not good. And the straw is inside of a coffee cup as well, or coffee cup that you're also able to close. And on that, I don't actually know what it is called. I really don't know. Well, l let's just move on. She left me for a hybrid. I didn't hear... <laughs> So it is a cars meme, and uh, one of the cars says, she left me for a hybrid. And then the other car says, I didn't even hear him coming. Well, yeah, I know, because it is a silent thing, most often, you know. I, by the way, think that having a hybrid car might be one of the best solutions that you can have at this point in time. You know, at this point in time where technologies might not be as far as they, as they, 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 they should before being able to substitute your car with an electric car, I would say, because... Um, and also in terms of like being able to just drive with uh, sustainable energy and all those things. Like it is like always something in between. Like a lot of people say like, yeah, use green energy, lose electric cars. They are good. They are good for, for the environment. And then there's of course going to be a lot of people that are saying like, well, actually not. Because what about the material materials? What about the uh, electricity or the electrical current that you're using for powering your car? Where is this coming from? I've actually been eating some nuts before and... I, I don't know if this is if this is only the case for me, but always when I'm eating some nuts, my mouth is so fucking watery, and I don't know why. I really don't know. Like, there's a lot of... Maybe it's because there's such a lot of shit in my fucking mouth, just because, like, I don't know if you know that, but if I'm eating some nuts, then it's quite everywhere in my mouth. It might be because of that. But coming back to the original thought, I really think that a hybrid is maybe the best thing to just take at this point in time, because it is green, but it is also just you're able to get where you want to get. Like, yeah, 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 I assume, I don't know, I just assume. Start every phone call with my battery's almost dead, that way you can hang up on them when you're bored. I don't like that because it's a fucking douchebaggy thing, like, don't do that. It might be, it, it might actually be a pretty just cool trick and it might be working, it definitely is gonna work. But the thing is, what if they call you back? What are you then gonna do? Just put your phone on fucking flight mode or something? Well, I don't know. Like, it is, it is a strange thing. Um, I wouldn't suggest it because it is also, like, a lie. 
and I don't like to lie. And I think it is not a really practical thing to do. I really don't also think that it is a smart thing to do because I, I don't know, especially also lying to yourself. It's, it's not, it's not a good thing. You shouldn't be doing this because like, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why we are, for example, having negative feelings, you know, because they are showing us some things and there is also like, yeah, just don't lie. It doesn't make any sense. Be honest to yourself um, because when you're honest to yourself, you, you are also able to progress. If you're always lying to yourself and if you're always being like, well, it is not my fault and yeah, I know that I'm good at everything, you're not going to progress because you don't see that you're not good at everything. Quite. For example, you know, it's just an example of this thing. The 10th one. Billsbury Doughboy diet service will be held at the 350 for about 20 minutes. What the fuck? I don't know. There, there, well, uh, no, I'm also gonna skip this one. Store tip, accidentally buy the potato chips your spouse doesn't like so you don't have to share. <laughs> it is like literally in a fucking store. Accidentally buy the potato chips your spouse doesn't like so you don't have to share. It indeed is also a pretty good trick, but accidentally, it is also, again, about like, it's not nice. You know, buy two of them and if you're not having the money, buy none of them. Especially just also because they're bullshit and you shouldn't be eating them anyway. Like, don't do this. Think about your health. Think long-term rather than short-term. I've also seen this one again, or before. It's like you're plugging in your... I still don't know what it is called. Fuck, man. Like, the thing that you're putting into your... I don't even... Like, I'm gonna skip that one. And there's, like, diapers and there's money and a car key and a credit card in it. Well, I don't know if this is a good idea. I've got another confection to bake. I don't get it. The best wedding invite ever. P.S. If you don't reply by October the 1st, please bring a chair and a sandwich. <laughs> well, um, actually a pretty good idea. And this is going to be the last one because there's quite a bunch of uh, ones that I do actually have to kind of explain then that it's not that of a nice thing if I'm having to explain it. But anyway, I was applying for Australian citizenship and the interviewer asked, do you have a criminal record? And I said, no, is it still required? Uh, well, the next one. Dad, I have something important to tell you. And, <laughs> and then he's just, like, he, he's just, he's, uh, he did uh, a man or, yeah, with a cylinder and two shoes out of ears with emojis in text. And the reply is, huh, what's that? And he says, I'm all ears. And the kid now says, never mind. And it's not funny. And then there's also a bunch of other things that I do not really get. It is, oh, it's a tattoo and it is about like, ah, like there was an injury. It is like a scar. Well, Simon Holland. You can't eat snacks while you sleep. So taking a nap is basically a diet. Like there's the problem that I'm often having is like that. I think this is, there's actually quite a bunch of them. Well, never mind. You know, it's still going to be kind of the end. I'm, I'm going to talk about something else right now. Um, the thing is, like, often it's the case that I either don't find them funny or they are just not funny. I don't always know. And I actually do not really know because it is a 50-50 chance that it is either of these things. But um, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. But yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. The next episode that I'm going to record is actually going to be slightly different and it is hopefully going to be slightly better as well. But yeah, um... I wish you the best health of happiness and also success and also hope that you are going to remind yourself on how you're going to be remembered, which means just being a good person and then also being remembered as a good person and also vice versa. If you're just deciding to be a fucking bad person, then of course, you're also probably going to be remembered as a fucking bad person. Three other questions that I'm having for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most? And I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. So please consider subscribing to the podcast and or the YouTube channel because I would appreciate that. Yeah, I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. So I'll see you soon.